Hello, welcome back to the King of the Garage team transport for 23, almost at season's end with rapidly getting there. Thank you everyone who has taken part this time. Kev Blokey, your host, speaking. Uh, best of three format in all the races you will see. Cars will swap the lanes after each week. Indeed they will. Ready to see how we get on this month? I hope so. Hope you're well. Here we go, folks. Let's race. Indeed so. So in the qualifiers then for this month, in qualifier number one, lane number one of we have the Lancia Stratos and in lane for the Corvette C eight R. Corvette takes up one, the Lancia being a Lancia fails to make it to the finish line unfortunately. Uh, so yeah. Win there for the Corvette, which actually done it at a time of 1.976 and the Stratus did not finish. In heat number two, we swap lanes. The Corvette will be in lane one and the Stratus will be in lane four. Will the Stratus make it to the finish line? No. No is the answer. Uh, Corvette takes the win there in lane number one. I'll just cancel lane four out. Uh, so yeah, Corvette 1.966 that time, and the Stratus with a DNF uh, means Corvette goes through the final with a 2-0 victory. In qualifier 2, heat number 1, lane 1, we have the BMW M5, lane 4, the Volkswagen Jetta from the Fast and Furious. Well... Both cars made it to the line, so that's something. But a win there goes to the BMW in lane one with a 1.948 and a 1.977 for the Jetta. We will swap lanes, see if that makes a difference. In heat number two, lane one, we have the Jetta. Lane four, the BMW. M5, don't you know? And it does make a difference, Jetta takes a win there in lane one with a 2016 and a 2023 for the BM Beamer. So we go for a decider. Indeed we do in the decider, heat three, lane two, in the middle we have the M5, lane three, the Jetta. It's who takes it. Convincing win there for the BMW with a 1971 a 2076 for the Jetta. All of which means that the BMW M5 will go through the final with a 2 1 victory. We'll meet the Corvette. Third place playoff. In the playoff heat number one, lane one, we have the yet to complete Lancia Stratos. Lane four, the BW Jetta. Money's got to be on the Jetta, hasn't it? I would have thought so. Yep, the Lancia doesn't disappoint in disappointing as it does. A win there goes to the Jetta, which finished in the time of 2.030 DNF. Yet another DNF for the Stratus. Heat number two, lane one, the Jetta. Lane four, the part of us that is the Lancia Stratus. Say what you want about the Lancia, at least it's consistently bad. Uh, yeah, just cancel that lane out. So win there for the Jetta, done it in a time of 2.046 and the Stratus had a DNF, bye bye Stratus. Jetta takes the third place with a 2-0 victory. It's time for the final clap, 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 you clap, <laughs> clap, clap. Uh, heat number one, lane one, we have the Corvette CAR, lane four, the BMW M5. Here we go. Win there for the Corvette lane 11946 1969 for the BMW. Swap lanes lane 1 the BMW M5 lane for the Corvette C8 R. Oh, that was close. Uh, win there, uh, straight win for the Corvette in lane four. 
with a 1971 BMW 1972 just pipped to the post. Anyway, it means that the Corvette C8R wins the final with a 2 nil victory. Let's go over to the podium. So the podium for mid-July or July King of the Garage is like this. Corvette C8R 20 points, BMW M5 10 points, Jetta with 5 points. Point table. Here we go. So with two races, oh, <coughs> excuse me, with two races left to go this season, it still could be anyone's. Anyway, it's now time to see if our champ has what it takes to beat the King of Goes Team Transport. Here he is, the Bugatti Chiron. It's time for the King of the Garage Team Transport Challenge. Arr! So in the challenge heat number one, lane one, we have the reigning king as normal, lane four, the challenger, this time in the form of Corvette. Ooh, win there for the challenger in lane number four with a time of 1987, reigning king 1991. We swap lanes, the challenger is now in lane one, the reigning king of garage is in lane four. Would it make a difference? Yep, King is back in business, having warmed its wheels and axles up. A win there in lane 4 for the King with a time of 1934. Challenger 1972. Heat 3, time for a decider. Yes, indeed, lane 2, the reigning King. Lane 3, the Challenger. Middle lanes, here we go. Yep, King. Remains the king, winning as it goes with a 1955 and a 2007 for the challenger. Getting slower, if anything. Anyway, there we go. Um, congratulations, therefore, to now four times King of the Garage Team Transport, the Bugatti Chiron. Uh, next month, this is August, the last 16 car race of this season. Uh, release video, hello, release video will be coming out on the 22nd. There we are, we have Dioras, Nissans. Plymouths, uh, rocket cars, bone shakers, old timey racers, Batmobiles, Mustangs, uh, off roaders, and more Mustangs, and what have you. Uh, McLarens, Audis, Carbonators, what's that, Maximum Leeway, that sort of stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Please like, subscribe, comment, and so on. Bye. <laughs>